Okay. Roy, financial services is a radically transforming sector. Um, what effect is mobile having on it? Uh, from my perspective, the biggest effect of mobile is about network effects and about hyper-connectivity. So finance traditionally was about uh, connecting the dots, two players who didn't know each other and banks were a clearing network or Visa or MasterCard. Any of these are sort of clearing networks between strangers, whether merchants or buyers didn't know each other or business to business didn't know each other. And what's happened with mobile is pretty much everyone is connected through the global telecommunications network and hence traditional clearing networks with intermediaries like banks are being developed. I mean, people are able to connect directly. Uh, Zopa in the UK is a great example of that. Uh, Transferwise, there's a number of, even eBay is a symbol of sort of the two uh, buyers and sellers coming together directly as opposed to going through a third party such as a bank. And mobile is just accelerating that trend and making it uh, a much more dangerous place to play in the intermediary <laughs> space. What do you think of London as a fintech capital? Is it a hot place for fintech companies to be? Completely, yeah. I think London, uh, I like to tell my American friends, if you go to Google Earth and you spin the planet, you can get it such that there's only water showing. So all the land is on one side of the planet. That's why east and west actually makes sense because it is east and west with the planet as it is. And if you look at the world that way, London is at the center of it. I mean, London